Good morning. Huh. Man, listen. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am. No. See, I can't. How's everybody doing this morning? Ah, uh, good morning, everybody. Is everybody good? Um, how's everybody doing today? I'm good. I, uh, I got a massage this morning because, um, I picked Charlie up the other day and like, she's probably too big for me to just be like lifting her up. Um, but she's still my baby. So I think I can just like scoop her up off the ground and my neck was hurting for like days after I did that. And, um, so I got a massage this morning, which I'm hoping helps. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, anyway, I'm glad that I um, have a chance to catch up with you guys this morning. I'm in the office. Jackson is on his way to, I don't know, I think uh, Ireland or Scotland or something. He's on his way somewhere. And, um, so, oh, Tierra, breastfeeding is so hard. Nobody tells you breastfeeding is so hard. It's like harder than labor. Okay. I want to encourage you and tell you to try to stick with it. But I also want to tell you as somebody who had to supplement with formula, um, and pump and give bottles because nobody told me how hard breastfeeding would be. Um, I just want you to know that all of my children ended up fine. Olivia breastfed for 10 weeks while she also chewed my nipples off my body, made me bleed, gave me mastitis three times. Um, and then I pumped and gave her bottles and then she took formula and Olivia is currently in eighth grade getting ready to make her communion and played in a soccer game yesterday and was just fine. Max got the... Uh, colostrum in the hospital and then I brought him home where my husband and my mother conspired behind my back to give him bottles behind my back while I was sleeping so um, Max never nursed um, and I'm still not over that um, and also Charlie was my preemie baby and was my best nurser and nursed for uh, over five months exclusively except for one bottle a day that Michael gave her so and she's, you know, a royal pain in the ass. So just want to let you know that if it works, great. If it doesn't work for you, that is okay. Also know that 13 years later, you will still be pissed that it didn't work for you. Anyone who tells you like, oh, you'll be over it. No, no, you won't. No, you won't. You will not be over it. That shit will piss you off forever. Uh, at least it does me. If I'm keeping it 100. Um, but anyway, I just want to tell you guys something on Facebook. So I'm simultaneously doing Coffee Talk on Facebook and 
Instagram because I think it's really important, A, that people can watch Coffee Talk wherever they want, but also like Facebook has been so shady lately. They keep like giving me these warnings and putting me in time out for like nonsense. Um, so if you are on Facebook and you are not following me on Instagram, you should because it will be, um, Coffee Talk will always be over on uh, Instagram. So I am at Jamie P. Sullivan on Instagram. Jamie P. Sullivan on Instagram. So you can come over there and follow me there and get um, Coffee Talk over there. Um, listen, everybody talk about babies gonna thrive, whether they get formula or whatever. Let me tell you something about babies. They turn into fucking teenagers and they roll their eyes at you and they get mouthy and they become unappreciative and dirty and lazy and you will not even, it won't matter if you breastfed them until they were seven or you gave them formula out of the room, womb, okay? They become mouthy and they develop this level of entitlement and audacity that you just cannot believe yourself. So I have never met a person who's like, well, my teenager, you know, doesn't do any of those things because I breastfed her until she was five. I'm just letting you know. I know people that breastfed for three years who ate their placenta and did all the earthy things and their kid is still a mouthy bitch. So... All I'm saying is do the best you can do for you, okay? And never forget that our parents' generation drank and smoked and gambled 